Are you a designer or a professional at your craft? And have you started marketing your craft? Because if you have not started doing that, in this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you why it is super important to start marketing your craft as a design business owner. Okay. And here are the three things that we are going to be looking into in this particular video. The first thing is why do you even need to care about marketing? Yeah, why can't you just continuously keep on doing your work and just keep on, uh, you know, keep on focusing on the craft that you are making? Yeah. Then the second thing that we're going to be looking into is what actually is marketing? Because, you know, a lot of people are doing this the wrong way. And I don't blame them because the education system teaches designers and professionals to be really good at their craft. But when it comes to selling their craft, that is something which is not taught in our schools and colleges. Yes. So I'll be telling you what are the wrong practices and what needs to be done in the right manner. And the third thing is what needs to be done. Okay. So I already told you the third thing. So let's quickly jump on to the first uh, part, which is why do you even need to care about marketing? Okay. Now, when it comes to marketing, the basic purpose about marketing is to getting you known to your clients because see, you might be really good at your craft and you might even love doing it. But the thing is, you can only keep on continuously doing that activity when you have clients coming in and not just any clients, but clients who are able to appreciate your craft, right? And here are the three things when, you know, when it comes to designers or people who are professional at their craft, okay, it could be anyone if in case if you're a photographer, a wedding planner, interior designer, architect, graphic designer, creative director, anyone, okay? So just have a look at this. And I'm pretty sure you'll be able to resonate with me on this. So the first thing is, as a designer, it is easy to get lost in your craft. And believe me, I'm an architect. I have spent hours and hours on designs, on rendering stuff, on creating that perfect picture, you know, which is very much eye-pleasing. We can get very much lost into the craft. And because of this, what happens is, uh, you know, getting clients and consistently getting clients this activity is neglected a lot of times and it is only looked upon when there are very low projects into the pipeline. Okay. If you are able to resonate with me on this, just type in true story in the comment box. Yeah. And the second thing here is without clients, you don't have a business because if there are no clients, there is no business. And the third thing is one who masters marketing and sales, they master the business. Now, even though you are an artist or you are a designer, the thing is you still have to work, right? And you still have to manage your expenses and your finance and, and you might have your own firm or your agency or anything. And that means it is a real business. And when it is a business, we need consistent flow of clients. Yeah. So that is the first part, which is why do you even need to care about marketing? Because it gets you known to your clients and it builds trust and credibility. Okay. Then let's move on to the second thing into what is marketing. Now, let me tell you, a lot of people are doing this the wrong way, especially designers and professionals, because when I look into a lot of marketing messages, it looks like this, you know, we are industry leaders in this service. We will provide you with amazing designs, really good quality graphics. Now, if you look at these statements, you might have looked at these statements at a lot of different places on Facebook pages, on Instagram channels, you know, or on any other websites, you know, like the marketplace websites. And you see everyone is doing the same thing. Now, if I am a client and if I go to like two people, X and Y, if X tells me I'm good at this, Y tells me even I am good at this. I mean, there is just one thing, a uh, one differentiation factor between them, which is the money. Now, whoever gives me a project at less cost, it's good for me. Like I'm going to go there and I'm going to get the project from them, right? And that's the reason is a very wrong way of marketing and, and the right way of marketing is over here. Okay, let me tell you that. So here are the three things that we're going to be looking into. The first thing is what actually is marketing is marketing is creating a positive change in the minds of people and with respect to where they want to be. Okay, now a person takes your service or buys a product from you. Now, when they take that service or buy a product, they want to change something within them. They are at a particular level and there is a level where they want to reach. And that's the reason why they are coming to you, 
right now you need to find out what is that level and what is that positive change that the client wants to create for themselves okay now here are three things in which you can create that positive change it is either health if you are able to change somebody's health if you are able to improve their health they are hooked on to you if you are able to change someone's state of wealth if you are able to improve their wealth through the services that you are providing then it is a good thing because they have your attention now and if you are able to help someone with their relationships you know that is something which will attract them now a lot of businesses you know they run their advertisements and their marketing campaigns on these three simple basic fundamentals and if i give you examples you know i'll give you a weird example uh, think about any deodorant ad or any ad of a perfume you know what uh, do you see in those kind of ads you know people uh, or or guys they put on the perfume or the deodorant and then girls keep running and uh, chasing them now what are you able to understand and what are you able to pick point out of these three changes which is that change okay if you guessed it was relationships that is right yeah so a deodorant is connecting it with a relationship right now similarly you can think about your products and your services and if you look into a lot of products and services you'll be able to connect them through these three principles okay so marketing is about creating the positive change and showing the customer how that could be done yeah and the second thing that we have over here is marketing is value addition okay it's not just about uh, you know selling and just uh, shamelessly promoting stuff no because you know when you get a sales call from someone and they're just like uh, i'm calling from this bank and i just want uh, to know if you want a loan or you want this or you want that i mean we we just you you know what we do right you just uh, hang the phone or you, you you'll say that you're busy right and that's the reason if you just keep on promoting it's not going to work marketing needs to be value addition and when it comes to value addition here are two things when you add value what happens is you are able to gain trust of someone and you are able to become an authority in their minds because you help them to understand where they want to go and how could they reach there you know what you become an authority in the process and that is when they trust you more and they are more likely to buy from you now okay so the second thing is marketing is value addition and the third thing is marketing marketing does not need money okay now there are different aspects of marketing there are some types of marketing where you need money where you need to run paid ads where you might have to give money to influencers yeah but there are some kinds of marketing which does not need money and if you can just create content like right now you're watching a video and it it might be on youtube or it could be a podcast or whatever it is okay you are able to get some value out of this right so marketing can be totally free it's just that you need to do that okay so this is marketing a short description on what marketing is and now let's move on to the third part which is now what needs to be done what do you do about this okay so here are the three things okay so first thing over here is first of all we need to understand your customer understand everything about them you know what their likes what are their dislikes and what are their problems needs try to understand your customer because it's about completely about psychology okay thinking about what would they want and when you're able to understand your customers we are looking into what are their desires okay now there are two kinds of desires one would be either a surface level desire now this desire is the service that you are providing them for example if you are an interior designer and if you are designing an office okay so getting an office design is a surface level desire for a client if if let's say it is a business owner okay now the second kind of desire is a core desire now this is what you need you need to identify why do they want to get their office design maybe because they want to impress their clients maybe they want better work efficiency for their uh, employees yeah or maybe it's, it's something totally different but you need to figure out what is that core desire because when you are able to tap onto that you know what you are, have that that person your client completely hooked on to you okay so that is what needs to be clarified on what is their core desire and identified what what that is okay now once you are able to identify that you know the second thing is you don't have to solve everyone's problem and it's not about changing everyone because you can't change everyone initially 
everyone is a lot of people yeah and everyone that means when there are a lot of people there are multiple opinions and multiple desires multiple wants and it's very difficult to serve every single multiple opinion right now because of this you know it needs to be very much specific so you need to think who do you want to change who are those someone or group of someone whom you would want to change because when you have a group of people who have a kind of similar interest and similar wants it's easier to change them and it is easier to even transform those desires and transform them okay so that is the second thing is to identify who do you exactly want to change because it's, it's not good on to change everyone right at the beginning okay if you're just starting off then the third thing over here is to add value and help them visualize that change because when you're able to show them the path you know this is how the change is going to happen that is when they are you are going to be getting their trust so here are the two things so you, so what we need to do is to solve the specific problems that, that they are going to be facing for the specific someone now because they are a group of someone's you have a set of problems which are common to them and all you need to do is try solving the problems and show them how those problems could be solved through your services okay then the second thing that we have over here is to understand the transformation process to make them understand how the transformation is going to be and that is when you know when they have your attention it becomes easier for you to sell it to them now if you found this to be useful and valuable you know i would really uh want you to just like this video and hit the subscribe channel so that you don't ever miss any other video from me and apart from this you know right now what i shared with you is a very little uh, knowledge of what i actually wanted to share with you okay and uh, you know that's the reason i would like to invite you to my upcoming webinar where i'm going to be sharing with you the three secrets on how do you get consistent quality leads for your business consistently every week every month and i'm going to be doing that live okay so if you're interested just click on the link below and register for my upcoming webinar and let's meet live in the webinar okay and also if you found this to be useful just type in useful in the comment box and let's meet in the next video until then bye bye and take care